with bit more potatoes. Oh, serve them. Mm. Hi everybody. Well, today I'm going to be doing a roast, pork roast in the air fryer for the pork roast for the first time. I've done a chicken, um, but this will be my first uh, pork with crackling. So hopefully this will go well. I'll be using the trying out the probe that it comes with the AF um, four five one that it comes with a probe. So I'll be trying it out for the first time. So here's our well, here's some of the ingredients because I'll be getting ready through through the day. I've got pork a pork joint with the crack the the fat on the top for the crackling. I've just got to um, score it. I've patted it dry. I'll be having some doing some sage and onion stuffing. And here are the Maris Piper potatoes that um, have been sitting in water for about an hour and I'll be taking them out and patting them dry. So, uh, let's crack on. I'm gonna score it. Just so I can rub the salt in. Just making little cuts on the fat. I need to sharpen my knives. <laughs> Hold on, let me just wash my hands. So with the air fryer, I'm going to be putting this pork in the um, in drawer in this drawer because it's the one which has the probe the probe digit bit uh, I'll put it on for 10 minutes max crisp and then uh, 50 minutes air fry or no roast at 170 so I'll just get the uh, pork ready and then I'll be back in a bit So the pork's at room temperature. Um, here, have a look. So let's get that in. Right, so when I put it in and I've put the probe in, I've, I, I had clicked Max Crisp and for 10 minutes and um, pressed start. But I've read that once it's in, you then press the um, click on the probe button and then you choose between small preset and large preset and, or man. I think I'm going to go for manual. I think <laughs> I'm not sure. How... Yeah, target temperature, right? Okay, uh, so pork. I mean, I like it, uh, my meat well done, so I'm going to put it at 70. Hope on the line, oh, right? Okay, so that's what makes the temperature go up and down right let's go back oh hold on i don't want to do this right let's reset because i want to put it on for 10 minutes from max crisp because that's for the crackling and then i'm just going to stick it on for 50 minutes and use my and then do the probe thing right so let's do max crisp thanks for sticking with me while i work this out <laughs> okay max crisp 10 minutes Right, back on that again. See you in a bit. So, the 10 minute, oh gosh, it's only 10 minutes, look at this. Oh gosh, oh Jesus. So, right, let's try and work out. Hold on a minute, let me just put you down. Okay, so, turn it back on. Press probe. Okay, air fry, then press probe. But I don't want a small piece of, oh, what is that? Manual. I don't know what it's cooking at. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it says beef. No, oh, it's not beef, it's not chicken, it's pork. Oh. 
Oh, I see. So large. Right, okay. It's pork. Oh, I want it medium well. So how do I get it across? Oh, look. Do you see that? That's moved to medium well. Mm, I like it well. Okay. Press start. So... Why is it saying rare? Oh, I wonder if that changes as it gets hotter. Because the probe temperature at the moment is at zero. We shall find out as it goes on. Um, I'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to get the stuffing ready. Get a pan on of the veg. The veg, well, I won't put it on, I'll just get it ready. Uh, and think I'll sort of do the start doing the potatoes basically taking the water out, drying them, and then seasoning them. Um, I'll be back in a tick for that. So I patted the um, potatoes dry, these are Maris Piper, patted them dry, and now I'm going to season them. So a bit of olive oil, salt, boiled these I would normally do that in the conventional oven I would boil parboil them but um, I'm gonna try them without that because you do want to shake them about and if they're too overboiled you know they'd crumble and go all over the place an oxo cube over the potatoes which makes them really lovely come and have a look timings work with regards to starting them. I'm going to probably put them on in about 30 minutes uh, and see how it goes. See you in a bit. So I'm just going to make some stuffing. A little bit of butter and then some boiling water and then I let leave it to stand until I'm ready to sort of form it into small balls. Uh, guess what's about to boil. Right, I'm just going to wait for that to um, cool down and uh, thicken, I suppose is the right term for it. Oh, I see movement with the temperature. So the probe temperature is now saying five to six centigrade so let's have a look well it's looking splendiferous if that's even a word but I personally think I've still got a long way to go before it hits 75 degrees so I'm worried about the crackling but we'll see what comes so that's still steaming so I can't touch that yet to create the the uh, stuffing balls and I might be putting the potatoes in soon Everything takes so much longer in the normal conventional oven that I'm not used to the f quickness of the Ninja. So I'm finding that I want to get things cooking before, even before um, everything else is ready. I'm just keen to, uh, impatient to crack on. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back to put the potatoes on in a bit. Right, I can't do it, wait any longer. I'm going to put, it, put the potatoes on. I might have put, the, put them in too early, but I don't know. I'm just going to stick them in because I'd rather them early than late. Crisper plate. Come and have a look. Right. Let's put them in. Roast. Oh, 
20 minutes but I'll keep checking it's because I'm gonna to want to shake them quite a lot throughout that 20 minutes probe temperature is currently at uh, 13 so that's coming along should we have a look oh god that crackling is going to be the best crackling if it doesn't get burnt <laughs> we'll see see you in a bit so the uh, potatoes have stopped cooking. They've been on for, how long did I put them on for? 15 minutes, I think it was. Uh, have a look. I'm gonna give them a shake. Dribble some of that oil back on. I might put some of the pork fat on it if I can. say that was much too well done but the internal temperature is 57 so I'm not sure okay well we'll see we'll see how this goes right so back to the potatoes roast and I'll turn it down Another 15 minutes, see how that goes. You'll get this stuff involved to get ready. Right, it's nearly at 70, and I might stop it at 70 because I'm not quite, I'm not happy with. Um, the sort of how quick it's cooking on the outside so let's have a look and I'm going to uh, check it with my, my own probe as well let's look right slightly uneven results um, I'm going to sort of move it about and see what happens Interesting. It's not matching with the probe very well, with the um, air fryer probe. So I'm gonna have to leave it in for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna sort of take an, make an executive decision and just uh, take it out. Oops, someone's calling me. Right, it's the, uh, the uh, internal probe is 773, 74 now, so I'm gonna take it out and let it rest, because I've gotta get on with the stuffing balls and all sorts <laughs> so I'm going to take it out and uh, let it rest right I'm going to put you down I need some gloves Well and truly cooked. There's nice lots of fat in there. I'm going to put the um, stuffing balls in the pork fat. Okay, come and have a look. There's some the stuffing balls are in there. I'm going to put them on uh, roast and just keep checking them. The roast roasties look great I'm gonna keep them cooking for a little bit longer uh, the, the same thing roast same thing but I'll be checking them because they probably will, won't need the peas are on and I'm gonna add the cabbage soon everything's gonna be ready really quickly so I'll be serving up soon I best get the gravy started actually and I only use baby granules because I can't be bothered with all that fat so that little gravy, I prefer to bisto to be fair. Where is it? Let's put the cabbage in. I've got Yorkshire's, but I'll put them in at the very end. I reckon that's going to be good crackling. Um, I sh it looks 
overly done, but I think it's going to, uh, hopefully the meat's soft. And when we cut it, I'll show you, let's hope that the inside's soft. I mean, I think maybe I might try next time not bothering with that probe and just sort of letting it cook on a lower temperature. Do that high max crisp first, but then on a lower temperature for a little bit longer, because it seems too fast. But whilst the, the, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. So let's hope to see how that goes. So little gravy, it's very nice. I've just learned something new. Um, if you want to adjust the temperature on the um, air fryer while in mid flow, if you like, press the, the press the, the number of the draw, and you can go straight to it like that, for instance. Um, and then press the draw number again, and it that carries on. That's really good. That that's something I've learned just now. Let's have a look at the stuffing balls. Right, I'm going to try and. Um, flip them The um, stuffing balls, I nearly forgot them, but they, they come came out lovely. They're just a bit of a splodged deliciousness. So they, they look really lovely roasted in the pork fat, but they're kind of, I don't know why they didn't firm up properly. I might have added actually a bit too much water. Mm, that's probably it. Well, I've just popped over to Valerie's and given her her dinner. She has a Sunday roast from me. Um, but I thought I'd show you potatoes, see what the inside looked like before I went in it. It's really soft and fluffy on the inside. Right, I'm gonna go and enjoy my dinner. See you in a bit. Oh. 